What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now Plus. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to review The Last of Us Episode 5. You know, I said last week that that was my favorite episode. I, I think I do have to give it to this one. I think this had probably like the most layers. It had some obvious callbacks to the game that I truly, truly loved. It had some, you know, going off in different directions that I think paid off by the end of it. It had its action. It had its gigantic sequence that honestly I want to play in a video game. And that makes me know, just looking inward, right? That makes me know, okay, you're liking this show. This really was probably my favorite episode. Um, from the very beginning, you know, going into the, the Sam and Henry thing, it's like, okay, well, how are they going to do these characters uh, this time around, right? And I think the payoff all happened just as the episode went on. I think it just evolved and went really, really well. Obviously, the outcome wasn't very well, but in terms of what they did with those characters, then even a character like Kathleen, they kind of told the story of, of all of that in, in one episode, right? A lot of the mystery that we didn't really know what was going on was kind of taken away in this episode. We found out why Henry is such a target, what he did, what's Kathleen's deal, the fact that she knows that she's bad, right? And that she just, you know, she doesn't care. And a lot of that stuff was some of the going in different directions. You had the throwbacks to Ish, right, in the tunnels. Now, I'm actually going to be making a video on my third channel, the channel I just started uh, about a week ago. I want to talk about the story of Ish because I think he's just an incredible character and an incredible story told through notes and told through just kind of uh, everything on the walls and just kind of the environment, right? I think not going too deep into the story of Ish, kind of just leaving it at a couple different rooms that they looked at, and then the one picture, right? The iconic picture that kind of starts it all, I thought was fantastic. They used it as character moments, right? Because we get to learn a little bit about Henry. We get to see, you know, Ellie and Sam, you know, hanging out, like all of that kind of stuff, which I thought was awesome. So what they used it for in the show was really good. And then there's also that that gamer side of you, right? That's like, oh man, like that's that's where it all happened. And again, this really not not too complex, but just a story that was so masterfully told, I think. One of the coolest stories, not told directly at you, but just found through context clues. Uh, having that kind of be in the background of them going through it. And then also having Joel kind of being able to predict uh, how things went wrong with it, right? So you had all that. Then you had really the the, the tower, right? The whole tower scene, which, I mean, I thought they did extremely, extremely well. I love some of the character moments of that. Joel does not want to eliminate this guy. And, you know, he literally just wants the guy to give him the gun, wait an hour, and then you're good. And that doesn't happen. But even, you know, even some of the comedic back and forth between, you know, Ellie and Joel, Joel basically saying, like, it's nighttime. The guy sucks. He can't aim. I'll be fine. You guys stay here. Like, it's just so well done. And then not necessarily like a boss fight, but like a, a horde, a horde sequence. Again, this was a moment. There's not too many moments. In fact, I think I've been pretty honest throughout this entire you know show when they've changed things, when they've really gone down different paths. I don't really think there's any of it that I would say I want to play that. I really do believe the game is is better overall. Maybe that's a controversial opinion. But I mean it in a way where it's like this scene that they did here, I would like to play it. And, and that makes me know that it's a very cool thing. I loved it. I think the visuals was fantastic. So far, there's been no skimping out on, right, money, budget, all that kind of stuff. Anytime they have the infected, they haven't used them all that much. And maybe there's a part of you that thinks, well, may maybe they've tried to save the budget here and there so they can kind of, I mean, honestly, I wouldn't doubt it, right? I mean, you only have so much money. You can only do these effects or even if it's uh, kind of makeup on certain people, right? You can only do that so many times. And when they do it, oh, my dear God. So just the fighting itself and then right here, this thing, oh, my dear God. Incredible. Honestly, incredibly cool sequence. The the, only, the most unbelievable part, but I guess a video game ish part, like Joel just not running out of ammo, right? He just kind he's just he's just unloading. But I really love that him literally directing Ellie, saving her, but just very cinematic, a very cinematic scene, but also very tense. Like it's it's nuts, it's going crazy, you know, everywhere around them. And uh, and then of course you got the ending, and I thought it was really well done. I'm not the biggest fan of the change. So the, the really big change for the ending was that Sam told Ellie that he was bitten. He, or he showed. In the game, 
I believe he shows like the audience. He shows us, right? Because he pulls the his. He, it's the same area, I believe. It's like right above his ankle or whatever, his shin. Um, he shows us, but he doesn't show her. And I don't know. I mean, I guess there's a part of me where it's like you know either way, right? So like in the game, you know something's gonna happen. In the in the show, you know something's gonna happen. You could kind of tell in the show the way he was acting. They have, of course, the iconic lines of like, "Are you afraid of anything?" And you know, she's afraid of being alone. Loved it. Loved it. Told in a different way, right? But still, I would say just as powerful. And then my wife was actually bringing this up, and this is a, a pretty possible point that could happen. They could just be doing this for the show purposes to show the ending even being more powerful, right? And the ending being Joel, you know, choosing Ellie. Well, one thing is I believe there's a little bit of foreshadowing that I don't think you ever got in the game the idea of what Kathleen, right, the villain, what she's telling Henry when they're hiding from her. And she talks about how kids die all the time. And did you know what you were doing? Uh, you know, like you chose this one person over over everything, right? Very much that's, I believe, foreshadowing Joel. It's it's basically the exact same situation. You're choosing one person over the bigger picture. You're kind of thinking short-sighted. So that's the exact same thing. So I like that they threw that in there because I do think that was purposeful. I assume we'll probably see in like interviews over the next couple of days, maybe that line was on purpose that they did it. But then even, you know, the ending where it's with Ellie rubbing her blood. So now it's kind of showing she believes that her blood is the cure, and then it, it's not. It didn't work. Or at least, you know, in that situation, it didn't work. I'm not convinced, like in The Last of Us Part 3, if Neil would do something where her blood can actually cure things. But for where we're at right now, I think that was pretty powerful, right? Because she thinks it's going to work, or she feels somewhat confident. And then the contrast of that, she's very depressed slash sad. Well, she's sorry is the, the actual term, right? She's sorry because it literally didn't work. And, and only she knows that. Now, unless she tells Joel, which I honestly doubt it, um, only she'll know that she did try to save somebody with using herself. So when Joel eventually picks her at the end, he's doing it without the knowledge of whether or not it works, even though we may now know, you know, no, it doesn't really work. Like Joel maybe would be more in the right, but Joel doesn't know that, right? So I think this is probably going to make later things even more powerful, let alone how powerful it was. I think what they did with Sam and Ellie in one episode was extremely good, right? You don't have the benefit of the tunnels of splitting them up. Remember in the game, you basically take the opposite child, right? Or the opposite child swaps. You don't have that. You don't have as much bonding time with between, you know, Ellie and Sam. You have what? Two scenes, two scenes, and then kind of the, the disaster of the, the car going into the building. Uh, and that's kind of it. But I, I think even in that moment, maybe there was one or so other scenes, but I mean, what they did in such short time with those two, you got to make that powerful. Um, I think they made it pretty close, pretty close to the game in such short time. I think I would, you know, give them credit and even like really making me like Henry. Um, I, you know, you know, it's coming like as soon as, I mean, you know, the entire episode's coming basically, but you know, the whole scene happens, you know, Henry shoots Sam, you know where it's going. While it was happening, I was I was like literally like in the moment processing and being like, all right, can the show do it? Can the show make it just as good? I think the show, again, was extremely close. I think everybody sold it. All, every actor there. I think Pedro Pascal did such a good job and it ends the same way. And instead, and it, I mean, it cuts, but then it cuts to them burying them, but it doesn't cut to like, you know, them months later. So a little change there as well, but I've, just as powerful, you know, in that sense. So, you know, what they managed to do, sticking relatively close to the game this wasn't like a total total detour in fact this episode stuck pretty close to the game and then when it detoured I still think it well number one it got to the same place by the end which was quite impressive and number two it managed to add a couple elements that may benefit or help the ending you know I was talking about with the Kathleen thing you know if you don't do that you don't really have that moment to kind of think about it in your own head. Yeah, what would I do for someone I love, but thinking just about that person instead of the bigger picture? You don't have that moment if you don't have Kathleen. Again, the huge you know detour of the infected scene. I mean, that was freaking sweet. Again, I want to play that in a video game. So I think they did a really good job. This episode, it had the character moments. It had layers. It had kind of com complexity. Right? It had all the good dialogue, all the good writing, all that jazz. It had good fight scenes. Everything about it was a, a really good episode. So I, I do believe this is uh, maybe not the best. I mean, I'm only going based off myself. It was my 
personal favorite. I think it was probably the best in terms of its layers, let's say. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed, bell icon turned on, and I hope to see you all on the next one.